What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and the Idaho 4 victims' families are now speaking out. Some of them are addressing Brian Koberger's arrest. One of them, Stephen Gonzalez. I may have pronounced that name wrong. I always get that name kind of mixed up. Stephen Gonzalez, right? I know there are a good um, number of people on YouTube who watch videos for the sole purpose of correcting people when they pronounce words wrong. So Stephen Gonzalez has been one of the parents that has stuck out to me this entire time. He's been outspoken. He's been applying pressure on law enforcement. We even had an ex-FBI agent accuse him of being the person who killed his own daughter and her friends. This case has been absolutely insane, and I'm glad that I was not covering it during all of that madness because I would have flipped my ish if I had to go through those type of accusations. And I know that Stephen Gonzalez doesn't play this stuff, okay? He looks like a pretty stern guy. If you ask me, we do not need to give Koberger the death penalty. We do not need to give him any time behind bars. Put him in a room by himself with Stephen Gonzalez for 15 to 20 minutes and justice will be served. I can tell you right now, Brian, you do not want to be in the same courtroom as this guy. I think he wants to rip your head off. And he has now said that he plans on being there. When Brian gets shipped back to Idaho, Stephen plans on being there for every court date and looking Brian in the eyes to let him know that this isn't going away anytime soon. In fact, in this article, Stephen Gonzalez says that this guy is going to have to look me in my eyes multiple times and I'm going to be looking for the truth. That's what I'm really going to be looking for. Now, Ethan Chapman's family spoke out as well, and they say that they are relieved by that this chapter is over because it provides some form of closure. However, it doesn't alter the outcome or alleviate the pain. We miss Ethan and our family is forever changed. You know, cases like this, it's always good news when the suspect is caught, you know, because that's an end to one chapter. But like she said, like Ethan's family says, nothing's ever going to bring these people back. But that doesn't mean that we don't want to see justice served. It doesn't mean that we don't want to see Brian be held accountable to the full extent of the law if he is guilty because we still live in America and it's innocent until proven guilty. But from everything I've looked at, it looks like they have a solid case. And they say that, that DNA led them to this arrest, which leads me to believe that there was DNA left behind at the scene. And that's gonna be hard for um, Brian to fight. It's definitely gonna be a hard charge for Brian to fight. I do not see Brian getting off for this. I think Brian is gonna be spit roasted. I don't think that anyone's gonna take it easy on Brian and rightfully so. I do think he will get a fair trial, but I don't think it's gonna look good for him. And if he's sitting there having to look at Steven Gonzalez in the eyes, mm, I, I hope that Steven um, holds it together because he seems to be a pretty stern guy and, you know, I respect it. I respect that he's been out there trying to get answers for his daughter. And he's been making sure he's been lighting the candle, the fire under law enforcement's ass, making sure that they, you know, stay on top of this case. But when any more updates come in, I will be updating you all on this channel as well as my second channel, Fat and Opinionated. So if you haven't already, go subscribe over there as well. But while you're here, leave your thoughts in the comment section, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell, all of that good stuff. And I will talk to you all in the next video.